This is going to be a demo of the Raspberry Pi controlling my N scale train set. Here's the train set. And you can see I've got this loop going around here, simple loop. Um, and then I've got a turnout here. This turnout takes it over to the train station. We've got a light source and a and a light sensor here so that the uh, Pi can recognize when the train has blocked the light and then take the appropriate action and here's the uh, turnout to get it back onto the main so first I'll go ahead and kick it off and then I'll explain to you what's happening so there goes the program the train is going straight Watch the light. It decrements the counter so that it says I'm going to block this thing twice on this outside route. After I blocked it twice, I'm going to tell it I want the next time go to the train station. So, alright, so it blocked it again. Now it's going to tell this thing to turn like this. So now, when it comes back around, it'll go to the train station. It comes. Blocks the light, so it stops it. Now it's just going to wait a little while. And all the people are getting on and off the train. Takes off again. Waits for it to clear. This guy back to straight, does the sequence all over again. So here's how we're doing it. This is a Raspberry Pi. It's uh, got its IOs going to this breadboard and this LED right here it lights up whenever the light is blocked on the photo sensor and that's what uh, the program is using to tell that it blocked that um, path. This LED right here is uh, indicating we've got power to the track, so the train should be moving. Then we've got our motor driver right here. This guy is normally used to drive wheels on a robot, but we're using it to drive the power on the track. And then we've got these relays right here. These relays, I'm only using two of them, but one of them tells the track to turn straight, the other one tells it to go turn. And right now, it should be starting up again. And we'll see this thing fire. There it goes. To make the track straight again. And here's our program. So the program starts with a count of three, right here. And every time the train passes the light source, it decrements. Once it gets down to one, it says, okay, make the track turn. So the next time around, it'll go to the station. This x equals zero means it hit the station and shut off the power. Waits. Turns it back on. Resets the counter to three. After it's gone a little ways, it makes the track straight again and repeats itself. Alright, so it's down to a 1, made a turn, should be coming back around there to stop at the station. There you have it, Raspberry Pi controlling a model train set. So next step, to make this a little bit better, is replace this light source and sensor with an infrared so it'll be much smaller and we can put some little bushes on each side so it'll be totally hidden and of course we're going to change this um, box to a real train station and we'll make a more elaborate track layout and the other thing is to control the speed of it so we'll be able to make the um, the train go faster or slower so when we go on the main route we'll have to go really fast when it gets close to the station we'll have it go really slow 
and then stop at the train station and then repeat that sequence. All right. We could do the same kind of thing for uh, like a trolley. Make it reverse once it reaches the end of the track and stop at each end or stop at multiple points. All right, there you have it.